And one. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today for our last parent university workshop in our spring series. We are so pleased to bring to you summer in LBC. We have LBUSD staff, City of Long Beach staff, and community partners with us today to let us know about summer activities and programs that are available to families. If you do have a question for one of our presenters, please click on the link below and fill out the form. And we encourage you to please leave your contact information in case we don't get to all the questions at the end of our presentation. We can have the community partners or staff get back to you with answers to your questions. Also, for your reference, this presentation can be accessed again down below, and there are links to the resources and contact information embedded in the presentation. So we just want you to know that by the end of this workshop, we hope that you have a better understanding of why it's so important to keep students both physically and mentally active over summer break. In addition, we want for families to know where you can go to get free and low cost resources this summer. So without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Ms. Rebecca Fast, our parent, co parent university coordinator and teacher on special assignment. So Rebecca, I will hand it over to you. Oh my gosh, I, it's June, almost June. You would think I would learn to not mute myself. Sorry, everybody. Um, thanks, Kelly, for passing that over. My name is Rebecca, and I am a, a teacher and a parent in Long Beach Unified, and I'd like to share with you a little bit about what's called the summer slide. Even in a normal year, as parents and teachers, we are usually trying to battle what is called the summer slide. Um, in a normal school year, students are at risk to learning up to three months uh, or losing up to three months of learning by the end of summer. So um, in September, from June to September, they can lose uh, some learning, some of their reading skills, some of their um, math skills during the summertime. And this kind of phenomenon is called the summer slide. And it's researchers have been studying it since 1906. So it's not something that's new. This year, as we all know, has been even more wild and wacky with our global pandemic, with online learning, with hybrid schedules and more. Um, and this summer, it's even more important than ever to combat what's called the summer slide. Um, and really think about what out of the box, you know, um, our kids have been sitting a lot, they've been Zooming a lot. It's time to use this summer really to get our kids active physically and mentally. And so on this next slide, we see some of the um, ideas that you can have to get your kids moving. Kelly, if you could hit the next slide for me, please. Sorry about that, Rebecca. I'm having That's a little okay. bit of trouble with my screen share. It's not wanting to advance. So I'm going to have to stop share and try and share again here. Okay. Hopefully we don't have to do this throughout our presentation. Hopefully not. Let's see. There we go. I apologize for that. That's okay. Just a, a list of some ideas here, you know, parents of getting our kids um, to get moving, getting them active, getting them physical. There's lots of learning that can happen, even if it's not doing Khan Academy or even if it's not your typical learning type of situation where they're in a tutoring or they're doing some online remedial work, going on a hike. We live in Long Beach, really taking advantage of playing in the waves and going on, you know, the waves during the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, look, going to our beaches, um, going on some of the new bike trails that we have here in Long Beach, uh, trying a new sport. I know when my kids were little, I would always have them try something like tennis or sailing or something that's just kind of out of their normal wheelhouse of what they normally play throughout the school year. Um, learning to cook new recipes, maybe getting a, a network, a food channel network that you enjoy or a new uh, cookbook that your family can enjoy volunteering, visiting museums. A lot of our museums in Long Beach are opening uh, and are back up for business. And so checking out a museum or the aquarium that we haven't been able to go to for a while. And in the end, read, read, read. Let the kids read books that they want for fun. Let them read books that they wouldn't normally read throughout the school year. Keeping the kids reading, incorporating reading is part of our everyday learning. And as part of Long Beach Unified, if I can go to the next slide here, and if I can have media services maybe help me out, we're going to show a short video about what's called our Summer Seal program. Our Long Beach Unified at some of our school sites is offering what's called Summer Seal, and it is a program um, offered at some of the campuses. Are we able to screen share? Or here we go. We're going to show a short video about our Summer Seal program. 
So I'm going to stop and I'll let media services take over here. They want to push play? Yeah. Okay, boost up the sound, perhaps. Hey, Here we go. The USD students, come join us on an exciting journey this summer to imagine a better world. You will walk into the classroom to build your power to read, write, and talk about ways that you can be a global change maker and walk out with your very own backpack of books. Come join us. Also, this summer, continue to think like a mathematician, count, estimate. Be a math Olympian. And after the four weeks, earn your own math Olympic medal. In addition, as a science explorer this summer, you will get to think and act like a scientist as you observe, investigate, and model the mysteries of our world. The knowledge and skills you develop will allow you to solve challenging tasks like a true engineer. Para nuestros amiguitos del programa de inmersión dual en Kinder, primero y segundo grado, habrá escuela de verano en español. Vengan a aprender lectura, matemáticas y ciencias, todo en español. No se lo pierdan. Poetry, drawing and painting, mask making. Hello, global change makers. Are you ready to spend four weeks having fun with your friends, creating art projects, working together as a team, and most importantly, using your imagination? This summer, we're going to give you opportunities to explore art every day. Come be part of SEAL and see what it's all about. Awesome. Thank you, Media Services, for helping us show that video. So I've seen on some of the social media out there that um, some parents were having questions about SEAL. What is SEAL and should I sign my kid up or not? If you are interested in Long Beach Unified's SEAL program, again, uh, it's at some school sites. It's not at all of our school sites. If you're interested, please check uh, with somebody at your school, whether it be your secretary, your counsel, or somebody at your school site would be able to answer questions. It goes from June 28th to July 23rd. It's Monday through Friday. As you saw in the video, it's going to be really hands-on learning, a lot of art, a lot of, um, you know, exploring some math skills. Um, and grab-and-go lunch will be provided, so they're not going to be having lunch at school, but they'll definitely have some lunches available for the students um, on their way out. So that's what Long Beach Unified is offering for our students, but I just want to leave all parents with, you know, summer is about enrichment, um, not just learning, but experiencing, playing, and enjoying the outdoors as well. So I know we have a big team of Long Beach providers, so I'm going to pass it back to Kelly, and uh, so we can continue sharing with Long Beach Unified all of the great um, uh, uh, opportunities for our students that are out there. So thanks, Kelly. Thank you, Rebecca. Next up, we have Alyssa Taylor Stewart from our Long Beach Unified School District Rep program. So Alyssa, you're up. Hi, Kelly. You have to get your, let me get your slides up. It's still, I'm having some screen share issues. For some reason, it wants me to um, go back every time. I do apologize that I do apologize to our watchers that can be there we go. I think yours are up there. Alyssa, it's all yours. Hello, Long Beach Unified family. I'm Alyssa Taylor Stewart. I'm the academic director for our LBUSD RAP Expanded Learning. And RAP does stand for Winners Reaching Amazing Potential. Go ahead, Kelly. Okay, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> RAP is a citywide no cost program, grant funded, ACES and 21st Century grant funded program that serving all of LBUSD students in grades K through 12. We offer after school during the regular school year, and we also offer programs during Thanksgiving, spring, winter, and summer recesses. We work with some amazing community partners who work very close in collaboration with our community partners that help to deliver our RAP programs. The YMCA, Boys and Girls Club of Long Beach, Conservation Corps of Long Beach, Campfire USA, AYA, Action Youth America, and of course, City of Long Beach, Parks, Recreation, and Marine. So we couldn't do what we do without, without all of our amazing community partners, and we're very, very grateful for their partnership. Our program philosophy is, is simple. It's simple. We are rooted in the understanding that learning is active. It's collaborative. 
It supports mastery. It expands horizons, right? All of these things we do in a very balanced mixture of academic enrichment and physical and emotionally healthy activities. These are all very important components of youth development. So you'll see all of this in RAP. Not just one, not just active, not just collaborative, but we're gonna, we endeavor to incorporate all of these, especially expanding horizons. We see, we want our children to dream big and see big and experience things that they might not necessarily get to experience but we want them to, we want them to have um, goals and set goals and so forth. And so the things that we do in RAP helps them to connect to high school and life after high school. So RAP is an important part. It's just not a place kids come to hang out. They learn a lot and they grow and develop and get ready for life after high school. Oh, Alyssa, I'm sorry. My, my screen share was working so well. That's okay. And then here we are. I. <laughs> Oh, the world of Zoom, right? We've all learned <laughs> patience during this pandemic. We do. Right, <laughs> I appreciate that. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So we do a lot of exciting things in RAP, a lot of fun activities. We have 56 sites, and you may see some of this, some of this, some of this at each site. Each of our sites has its own unique personality. But all of the activities are rooted in the program components of enrichment, physical fitness and recreation, and homework assistance. And remember, I said this is an expanded learning program. So we work to expand on what our students learn during the school day. So we take a little bit of what they're learning during the school day and add, add some flavor to it. We add extra to it. So they get the full breadth of the science, the arts and, arts and crafts, um, physical activity, and of course, homework support. We have our college student aides offering homework support. We have our site directors and our program leaders. So our students get, get what they need to make sure they're meeting their mark in class too. So fun and engaging activities. Some of these things you'll see in your RAP program, STEAM, social emotional learning. We know that's very important now, especially as our students return to in-person learning. We make sure that their their whole being is, is is well, not just their academics, not just their physical activity, but we want to make sure students are developing their character development. Um, we want to make sure that they have an opportunity to talk and to share and to vent, right? And so that's some of what we do. We offer homework support. We focus on math and reading, visual and performing arts. Many of our sites have uh, plays and presentations for the families. Service learning, our high schools uh, definitely do things around service learning. It's very important for our students to do things in the community, to offer support, to do community um, development. So that's definitely important. Our college and career exploration is hugely important. It's not just high school. We start that with our elementary school students to make sure that they're connected to what is next for them after they leave Long Beach Unified. We don't, we don't want them just to explore that in high school. We want them to explore careers, we do job shadowing, we do college tours. We did a lot of virtual college tours during this pandemic time. We also have clubs, fun clubs and activities. We we have Girl Scouts in our RAP program as well. So we have a, a, girl, a community -based girl, uh, based Girl Scout program in our RAP uh, um, programs. And we have, of course, physical fitness and recreation. We do a lot of, uh, some of our program, uh, community partners do competitions between different sites. We have um, Zumba. We do a lot of things to make sure that the students stay in shape and they're having fun and they're exercising and getting all those uh, that nervous energy out. So, Zumba sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to read off my slide because I think this got a little skewed. Um, this yeah. summer we are having rap face to face, and I'm, when I tell you that we are super excited about being in a face-to-face -face format again. I talked to the site directors, the program leaders, they are missing the students so much and the students are missing being around their friends and being at the school site and being with their uh, program leaders as well. So this summer, we are offering two sessions of RAP. Session one will be piggybacking to the SEAL program, July 28th, to, excuse me, June 28th to July 23rd. And that will be a three hour program. So uh, many of our students will be in the SEAL program and they'll come on over to RAP right away. We'll also um, have students who are, who are not enrolled in SEAL. They're also obviously um, eligible 
and invited to attend the RAP program. So it'll be a three hour program. We'll start the three hours with lunch. So our students will have lunch and then we'll move into the activities that we spoke about a few minutes ago. Session two, July 26th to August 1st is a six hour program, um, pretty much like a full day program. And so students will come and they'll have a lot of fun. They'll probably leave very tired when they go home, but that will be a six hour program. We offer RAP in general at 56 sites, including uh, our two high school sites, Cabrillo and Jordan. More detailed information will be available in early June, and you can um, access the information on the Long Beach Unified School District website. Go through the A through Z, the alphabet listing, and look up RAP, and you'll get um, the registration links, more detailed information about your site, your site director, so forth and so on. The one thing I want to say about our summer program is that unlike the school year, you can attend, students can attend any summer program that they that they want to attend. So maybe students attend Adams Elementary, but they want to go to the Alvarado RAP program. That is definitely allowable during the summer. So we have a place for all of our students to participate and have fun and grow this summer in the RAP program. So you might ask yourself, is RAP a good match for my child? I, I'm very partial and very biased. I would say absolutely yes. But you definitely want to check out what's going on at the site that you choose. Um, maybe even talk to the site director, the site principal. You want to talk to your child and, and ask them, would they be interested in something like this? Talk to the, maybe the, their, their grandparents or other family members. Um, you're free to call the RAP office and talk to me or talk to um, anyone, you know, our director, WD Dan. But I would definitely say RAP is a wonderful place. We are loving, nurturing, supportive environment for our students. And we are rooted in uh, making sure our students are safe and having a lot of fun. So I think it's a program for every student, every student in our district, but definitely you want to look more into it. Okay, I think you had one more slide, Alyssa. And of course, yeah, well, it was just share a wrap-up slide. Again. No, it's okay. It was just a wrap up slide. And I just want to say thank you and come check us out. We're here to serve the students in Long Beach Unified and we're excited to be okay. here. There we go. And mm -hmm. I like that it had the, the contact number as well. Yes. For family. Yes. That's our office number 997 8000 extension 7172. Perfect. Thank you so much, Alyssa. Yeah, so we're well. going to transition for uh, from the programs available from Long Beach Unified School District into those programs offered through the city of Long Beach. So we're going to start with um, Ashley and Joy from Long Beach Parks, Recreation and Marine. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, Long Beach families. We are so excited and very thankful for being invited um, to talk about our programs and having this opportunity. Um, I got really excited hearing about all the RAP opportunities. We actually have had a long partnership with the district, uh, and so we're excited, we're excited that a lot of our programs, now that um, we see that restrictions are being eased, hopefully by the summer, that we're gonna be able to add more and more um, activities. So whereas last year, we had to do a lot of reimagining of all our recreation programs, this year we are highlighting that we play better together Long Beach. So with that, I wanna start off talking about our camp programs. If we can have the first slide, please. So, um, Families, those of you that are familiar with our park programs, we've had in summers before COVID two types of programs. Uh, we had day camp programs and we had drop-in programs. Um, last year with the pandemic and in order to implement all the protocols, what we did is expand our camp programs to 23 sites. Um, and unfortunately with our drop-in programs, we weren't able to implement them because of the protocols. We are happy to say that this year that, that it is a very distinct possibility that we will be able to phase in some drop-in programs at some of our sites. Um, um, also, you'll notice on our slide that we have QR codes. So if you do have a um, QR re code reader, um, all you have to do is point your device towards the slide and it will take you right to the web page in which it will give you additional information, including how to register for our programs. But as far as our day camps, we are going to continue to operate our day camps at 23 sites. Um, our camps are um, activities are designed for kids aged 5 to 12. Um, 
we drastically reduced our weekly fee to a $30 a week fee for nine to four base hours. And we do have extended hours available for an additional $20 a week. Um, we also have financial assistance available for qualifying families that live in Long Beach. Um, and we have two ways to register. Um, you'll find all this information again on the QR code, but you are um, able to register online um, or you can also register in person by calling and making an appointment. Um, this is a listing of all our sites that we're offering throughout the city of Long Beach and we hope to see you out there. Next slide please. Um, this program we are very excited to bring back. So last year we had to be very creative and reimagine how we can deliver our recreation programs, especially to those neighborhoods that may not have easy access to our pro park program sites. So we brought back um, our mobile recess program. And this program, if you're not familiar, um, allows for recreation staff to bring out um, a panel truck filled with recreational equipment to specific neighborhoods um, and and close off the street so that kids will have the opportunity to come out and engage with the staff and take part in a number of different recreational activities. This is a free program and again it is for ages uh, for kids aged 5 to 14. The next slide please. So these are the sites in which our mobile recess trucks go out to. You'll see that um, we, we visit nine sites. Um, six of the sites, the park staff go twice a week. And then on the Friday sites, um, they're at the neighborhood once that week. Next slide, please. Um, and this is another program that we developed last year. So again, um, our staff are very creative. We really had to think how could we deliver our programs and give um, kids in Long Beach the opportunity to interact and engage with staff um, and just give them a break from uh, over a year and a half of um, distance learning and being behind that screen. Um, so our staff um, developed a virtual program in which, again, this is a free program, kids that sign up were able to engage in staff virtually from the comfort of their own home. This year, we're actually going to go hybrid. So three days of the week, staff will continue with the virtual component of the program um, and have online um, live meets with the staff. Um, but then two days of the week, we will actually provide in-person activities at Hartwell Park. Now, um, participants will have to enroll in the full program and participate in the virtual component to be able to participate in the in-person in um, component. It is limited in capacity as far as the in-person component, but what we'll do is on a weekly basis, we will try to accommodate uh, the different participants that are enrolled um, to, to be able to provide that opportunity for everyone that has um, enrolled in the program. Um, this is at Hartwell Park. Um, and again, you can register either online or you can call and make an appointment and um, our staff will walk you through the registration process. Next slide, please. Oh, and at this point, I would love to introduce our uh, Recreation Superintendent, Ashley Grissett. Right, thank you, Joy. Um, it's great to join the conversation today. Um, I, uh, I am fortunate enough and privileged to oversee and help coordinate our teen programs within the city. Um, we have we offer teen programs and um, have teen centers located throughout the city, um, which service our teens ages 13 to 17. Our teen centers offer free programs. Um, and this summer, um, we are open. All of our teen centers are open from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. There is no cost. Um, to attend and and visit our teen center um, and participate in our programs. Um, I think we have a, a slide that follows that lists all of our locations. Um, there we go. So we have six teen center locations throughout the city. We have Freeman Community Center, Silverado Community Center, Chavez um, Park Community Center, um, or Houghton um, Park Teen Center, excuse me, um, at McBride Teen Center and Admiral Kidd Teen Center. Um, many of our teen centers are located in close proximity to our high schools. 
Um, we have a couple that are a little bit of distance, but we try to strategically locate all of our teen centers so that our teens, regardless of where they live in the city, have access, um, um, reasonable access to, to attend and visit one of our teen centers. Um, we were, were excited what was shared on the previous screen um, this summer, something new and unique um, outside of our regular program is that we, we partner with the Dodgers um, and, and offer what, which will kind of um, is noted for deeper in, in, in a youth sports conversation. But we are for the first time able to offer a softball and team baseball program. We haven't been able to do that in many years within our own resources. So it's awesome that we're bringing in um, a teen baseball softball program. And this also is free. And these these teens will, will be receiving um, a free uniform, actually two uniforms, a glove, um, and access to a variety of, of cool resources um, as well. So um, any, any um, um, typically what you can, you can expect with a visit to the teen center is um, some very welcoming, excited staff that, that have a, a list of activities every day to engage in, and many of them are outdoor activities, could be um, something um, just taking place outside an active activity. A lot of times our teens like to play basketball and kind of just like play sports for a good portion of the day, but we also do a lot of crafty things. We do um, we're, our staff are always open to getting feedback from our teens as to what they enjoy to do and kind of craft our schedules around that. Most importantly, we want your teens to come visit us. And so we're really trying to grow back um, and, and kind of increase traffic in all of our teen centers um, because of this unique year that we've had. And so little by little, our teen centers are open now, um, but little by little, we're, 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 we're getting to a place and very excited to kind of do, do um, do more and, and with a little bit less restrictions, hopefully this summer. Um, you, there is no, there is um, a process and waivers required for teens to participate and you can contact your local teen center to get that information. Um, we wanna eliminate barriers as many as possible to get to just it, allow for your families to, to really, really utilize and benefit from what we can offer. So. Um, we want to make that process as simple for you for you as possible. We know the teen, teen population is unique to reach, and so um, we're trying to do um, what we can. We also have um, Long Beach Teen Centers on Instagram that we we've, we try to promote what we have going on there as well. So um, um, we can go ahead and move forward to the next slide. Youth sports. Um, so we. Um, as I mentioned, we partner with the Dodgers this summer, and we are really excited to bring back our RBI program. Um, we have an opportunity to to uh, uh, offer this this unique, very cool program to about 900 youth this summer, and that's what we're aiming for. Um, the youth participating um, in this softball, uh, I'm sorry, t-ball, softball, baseball program are supplied uniforms, they're supplied a glove, um, and of course we'll have games and practices with coaches and, um, and some unique kind of guests that will be visiting. Um, this will be a new summer for us. We're, we're with COVID um, having changed um, Kind of our our our, um, our program with with new um, kind of parameters. We're we're seeing we're gonna get access to some cool new resources this summer. So I definitely um, encourage you to contact your local site. Mo most of our neighborhood parks. I'm not sh I'm not sure if we have a slide that follows. There we go. That lists all of the sites that are that are recruiting teams. So if you see a park here that's close by your, your home, please contact it and see if they have space available on our teams. And also, if, if their team is full, which, which happens, we have some sites that are very popular, um, please look at neighboring sites because we want to we make sure we, we can find space for you. So, so let us know if you're, if you're ever having challenges with that. Communicate that with your neighborhood park um, and, and we should be able to kind of get you connected that way. And this program is also free. There's no cost for this program. So we can move to the next slide, I think. Yes, I mean, I'm gonna have to stop share and come back. Oh. Okay. Next up, we have be safe. Okay. 
Uh, be Safe is also um, a, a great program we're going to be bringing back this summer. We're excited um, in that we're offering it at 11 park sites, and um, you'll see those locations in just a moment. Um, this program is a unique program um, in which um, we, we hope to activate um, parks in the evening hours in the summer and really engage with families in the neighborhood. And so um, we offer in summer's past and what we're working on um, finalizing our schedules for this summer on a fitness component, um, crafting opportunities. In the past, we've had science workshops. We've had mad science hosting workshops in the evening hours. Um, and we brought them in to do a, a weekly visit to every location. So we're, we're kind of sorting out some of those details now, but it's going to be equally cool as previous summers. Um, and we also plug in an extra movie in the park at these locations. So um, while we, we host movie in the, we're bringing back our movie in the park program, um, be safe sites get an extra movie. So there's a lot happening. Um, it's a unique extended program and it's a, it's, it's a family-based offerings. And so it's not something that has to just be the youth alone. Um, families are welcome. We encourage it um, for you all to come visit in the evening hours and see what we have off offered. Um, I think the next screen lists the 11 sites and phone numbers are listed there as well. So you, you, I recommend um, if you're curious about what we have going on, as we get a little bit closer to summer, they should have schedules, at, unique schedules, site-specific um, listings uh, of what's going on each, each week in the summer. But for now, you can definitely reach out to your park, get information. This is a free program. There is no cost to these activities. So when we've had, for example, Zumba in the park at every location in previous summers, it's a free Zumba class outdoors at your at, at these locations. So it's a lot of fun. There's a lot to offer, and so we we encourage um, you all to call as well on, on those on this program. And then next slide. And I hand it back to Joy. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. Um, so another program, important program that we are continuing to do, we've actually have implemented this program since 1979, is our summer food service program. So this program is going to be offered at 34 sites across the city of Long Beach. Um, and um, all youth between the ages of 1 and 18 are eligible to come during the service times that vary from site to site to receive a free lunch. Um, this program is obviously established to make sure and ensure that all the kids are still are receiving a well balanced lunch during the summer vacation um, to continue what the district does and which is to provide that nutritional lunch uh, during the school year. Um, again, this does have the QR code, so if you would like to use your device, it will take you straight um, to actually the listing of all the sites, which I believe we also have on the next slide. Um, you do, and I'm going to have to reshare again no problem. to get that slide. And I just want to remind viewers, too, that this presentation, there's a link down below so they can um, go back and get the QR codes or revisit the phone numbers and sites as well. There we are. And there you go, 34 sites throughout the city of Long Beach. We also partner with a, a face-based group and Signal Hill Parks to make sure that we are accommodating as many um, youth as possible. And I believe that concludes our presentation, although we do want to um, inform everyone that we are also working behind the scenes to offer even more programs. Um, it was a, a very happy surprise to um, to hear that we are moving towards a, a more quote-unquote normal summer. So we're hoping to um, issue more press releases and also provide you with information about uh, more programs that we'd be bringing back. Um, so we have programs at the Nature Center, um, also some other activities that we might be doing um, with our community-based learning centers that um, we offered through the, through the school year. And that concludes our presentation, and we'll be happy to answer any questions uh, towards the end. Okay, thank you, Ashley and Joy, for sharing that. And I, I really um, appreciate there are multiple ways for families to access this information. The QR code, they can go online, that there's also phone numbers that they can contact as well. So I hope our families will take advantage of this. Thank you. So next up, we have Sheridan uh, from the Long Beach Public Library. Hi, everybody. 
So glad to be here today. So uh, my name is Sheridan. I work at the Long Beach Public Library. I'm the early literacy slash reading program specialist. Um, so I do a lot of story times, plan summer reading, all that good stuff. So today I'm here to talk to you about uh, some of the summer activities that we've got going on at the Long Beach Public Library. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is our summer reading program, which this year launches June 19th, and it runs all the way to August 14th, which is eight weeks. Uh, just like every year, we're going to have prizes, uh, drawings, activities uh, for teens, kids, and adults. Pretty much anybody from age zero all the way up through, you know, any age you might be can participate in summer reading. Uh, we're planning crafts, paint nights for teens and adults. Uh, we'll have story time for babies, toddlers, preschoolers, and also a live bilingual family story time. Uh, we'll have a few author talks for teens and adults. We'll also have some programs in Spanish uh, based on literature. They're called Litera America, and we'll be discussing and reading short stories written uh, by contemporary authors from Latin America. And then as well as, uh, as part of summer reading, we'll have a weekly gift card drawing uh, for all three age groups, depending on uh, people who have earned badges in our summer reading program. And so to earn the badges, all you have to do is read every single day, complete some activities, as well as write some book reviews. And then you've earned the badge, We'll do weekly drawings uh, every single week during the eight weeks of SRP to be able to give away gift cards to anybody who's earned uh, their badges. So to sign up for summer reading, you'll need to visit our Beanstack website. The address is longbeach.beanstack.org. Uh, create your account, and then once SRP becomes available as a challenge that you can sign up for, sign up for it, and you can immediately start reading and earning badges. Um, they also have a mobile app that you can download to your phone or your tablet to be able to keep track of what you read even easier. And that uh, that app has an, a barcode reader, so you can actually just scan the barcode on the back of the book that you're reading, and it automatically logs it for you, which is pretty cool. We'll be doing a full slew of events for summer reading. Um, and so for that, you'll want to visit our event calendar. There's a link on the slide that I've got here. Otherwise, you can also visit uh, lbpl.org, click on visit, and then from there, scroll down to the event calendar, and you'll see the entire slew of virtual programs that we have planned for the eight weeks of summer reading. Uh, so if we can go to the next slide, please, and I'll talk about the next couple of things. Uh, aside from summer reading, we also have a couple of other things going on this summer. Uh, the first one is specifically for teens, and it's actually called Make, Create, Design. This is a yearly summer program that our Studio Makerspace staff put on for teens ages 12 through 19. Uh, and what they're doing this year is they're learning uh, to design, visualize, build, and test their very own video games in the Bitsy game engine. Uh, the program Make, Create, Design runs from June 24th through July 22nd, that's five sessions. It's gonna be every Thursday from 2 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. And so the really cool thing is that teams will join the sessions and they'll have studio staff there showing them step-by-step -step how to create their own video games. Uh, they'll have five sessions, each on a different theme. So they'll have like an intro week. They'll have a session on narration in video games, how to storyboard out uh, a plot for a video game, how to create the art for a video game, how to create the music for a video game, how to uh, create the coding and the mechanisms for how the video game is going to work. And then finally, a wrap up week where they can put all those things together to start really working on their own video game. Uh, for Make Create Design, because it is such an uh, hands on and intensive sort of workshop series, uh, space is limited and registration is required. You can register on Eventbrite. Uh, there's a link on the slide here. Otherwise, you can visit Long Beach Public Library's Eventbrite page. Um, and then we as an organizer should have a full listing of all the different programs that you would have to register for and Make Create Design should be there. Um, as well as for kids 6 through 18, we're having our Friends of the Long Beach Public Library essay contest. This is another yearly thing that we do during the summer, um, and the Friends of the Library put it on for us as a way of rewarding kids that are really working on their writing or, uh, you know, reading throughout the summer. So the theme this year is uh, how has reading changed your life? And what they're asking kids to do is create an essay and then submit it to the essay contest. They'll have a panel of uh, friends of the library. The executive board is going to read all the essays together and then in each age category decide who, uh, who the winner is. And the kids can earn up to a hundred dollar Barnes and Noble gift card for having the winning essay. 
they'll have first place, second place, and third place, I believe, as well. So you can see there that the program, uh, the essay contest runs June 19th all the way through August 16th. So the kids have the whole summer to write their essay, to craft it, to really work on it, uh, and then submit by August 16th. Um, they have different age categories that have different requirements as well for how long the essay has to be. So for ages six to seven, they can do 50 words, eight to nine, 50 to 100, 10 to 13, 150 to 200 words. And then beyond that, it gets a little more complex for 14 to 18 from 300 to 500 words. Um, and so this is a really cool contest. Um, the winners are usually really, really excited. They get a they get a medal, they get all kinds of stuff, as well as their Barnes & Noble gift card to be able to buy some more books over at the Barnes & Noble. Um, I guess the closest one is over at the town center huh so that's some pretty cool stuff that we've got going on um you'll see the email there at the bottom lb friends essay contest at gmail.com where they want to submit the essay um, and then from there they'll decide the winners i believe the i believe they're going to announce on august 22nd of 2021 this year we could move on to the next slide and I will talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the digital resources that we have at the Long Beach Public Library. And this we've had year round, um, but obviously during the summer, you wanna to continue to use them. So some of the digital resources that we offer with library cards are uh, World Book Online, along with other research uh, databases that kids can use to do research just for their own pleasure or for school assignments. Uh, we also have BrainFuse Help now, which is a live tutoring service um, that is run through the internet. So uh, kids with library cards uh, can sign in and they're assigned a live tutor who on the other side is helping them step by step with whatever they may need for homework. It's a super powerful service. They're there seven days a week from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. And the only thing you need to access it is a library card. They also have a writing center where students can submit uh, written papers uh, or essays, and then they get feedback on the on the paper or essay to to better improve it based on you know sort of legibility or you know thematic content. Really, really powerful service, and it's completely free for you, a library card holder, because we pay for it. So pretty cool there. BrainFuse help now. Uh, another service that we offer is an entire catalog of digital ebooks as well as downloadable audiobooks. That service is called Overdrive. And so with your library card, you can add us as a library to the Overdrive app, either on your phone or tablet or computer. And then from there, see our entire catalog of digital books that we have to offer. Uh, you can download them for seven, 14 or 21 days. And then at the very end of the lending period, they return themselves. So there's no need to worry about fines or fees for late ebooks and downloadable, downloadable audio books. We also carry uh, ebooks and audiobooks in Spanish. So if you have a child or you yourself read in Spanish, uh, you have a whole catalog in there as well for things, uh, you know, to practice reading in Spanish. Uh, the next service I want to highlight is called Canopy. It's a streaming service um, that we offer, and they have the Criterion Collection. They have a ton of documentaries, world cinema, um, really rare and curated collection um, that is accessible to you with your library card. Um, for adults, we give you, I believe, six credits per month, so you can you can stream a different uh, six titles per month. Um, and then they also have a kids section in Canopy called Canopy Kids that has unlimited streaming. So once you switch over to Canopy Kids in the browser, you'll see that you have access to uh, Sesame Street um, or Plaza Sesamo in Spanish. You also have access to a ton of videos and short films based on books. So they're kind of read alouds and they're animated. It's really, really cool, super engaging for kids if you want to just put something on that you know is based on books and really print rich um, and rich in vocabulary and, you know, really plot social emotional development and all that good stuff. The next service I want to highlight is Freegal. This is a downloadable music service that is completely free to you with your library card as well. Um, I believe that this one you can download up to five things per month, I want to say. Maybe it's a little more now. Um, but the cool thing is it's completely legal. And then once you download it to your device, it's yours to keep forever, which is pretty, pretty cool. Last thing I want to highlight is that we also have a variety of test preparation and uh, sort of like academic development uh, services. This one here is called Peterson's Test and Career Prep. And what they offer is digital practice tests for any test that you can pretty much think of. So they have uh, practice exams for the SAT, the, S the ACT, the ASVAB, um, and also US citizenship exams. So the really cool thing is you can log in with your library card, take the test, and it'll score it and give you feedback on what you missed and all that good stuff. So that, that way you can continue to study and improve those skills so that when you take the real test, you can pass and you know, either get into college uh, or be really competitive you know, when you're getting into the military or you can pass your US citizenship exam um, you know, with flying colors. So all of these 
resources are available to you on our digital library, as well as a bunch of other ones. Um, you can find it on the link on the slide, or you can also go to lbpl.org. And then on the borrow tab, scroll down to digital library, and you'll see a whole slew of resources that are available to you completely free with your Long Beach Public Library card, which you see right there on the slide. Uh, we can move on to the next slide, and I'll talk a little bit about um, our new grab and go service. So uh, recently on May 18th, the Long Beach Public Library opened four locations uh, for the public to actually come inside the building after a year and a couple of months of closure. Um, so those four locations are the Billie Jean King Main Library in downtown Long Beach, the Michelle Obama Library in North Long Beach, the Mark Twain Library in central Long Beach, and the Bayshore Library over on 2nd Street in Belmont Shore. Uh, these four locations are open for browsing for books, so you're welcome to come inside, look at the stacks, pull the books out, and then check out materials. They also uh, can do uh, computer sessions for adults and kids and teens, pretty much anybody, um, for up to 30 minutes. And then you can also do any kind of account management things, for example, signing up for a new library card, paying off fines or fees, uh, renewing your library card, pretty much anything that you can think of. They're open for service for visits up to 30 minutes long. The hours are... Uh, identical to pre-pandemic hours. So on Tuesdays, they're open 12 to seven, except for Billie Jean King Main Library, they're open 12 to 8 p.m. Wednesdays, they're open 12 to six. Thursdays, they're open 12 to seven. Fridays and Saturdays, they're open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Currently, we have no in-person programs available just because of the health order, but uh, we anticipate that that'll change sometime soon, hopefully, we'll see. And then we'll be able to offer our regular story times and all that good stuff all over again. So you can come to the library, enjoy a story time, enjoy a program, enjoy a craft, check out some books, and then do it all again. Um, so that's pretty much what I had to share with you all today. My name is Sheridan Gazares. I'm the Early Literacy Reading Program Specialist or Especialista de Alfabetización Temprana y Programas de Lectura. There is my email and my phone number in case you have any questions or feel like you need to contact me about something. Um, you know, I'm fair game. Uh, soy bilingüe. Entonces, si tienen preguntas, mándemelas. No duden en contactarme y yo estoy aquí para servirles. Thank you so much for having me today and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you, Sheridan. Muchas gracias. There is so much to explore at our Long Beach Public Libraries just remotely. I can't wait to do that myself. Um, and how exciting that we have four sites that are now open and people can go in and get some books. And we were just talking about that at the office today, just being around books and the smell of books. <laughs> really exciting. So we're going to transition now from um, the city of Long Beach offerings this summer to some of our community partners. So next up, we have um, Mr. Lance Holiday from the Boys and Girls Club of Long Beach. Uh, good afternoon, Long Beach. My name is Lance Holiday. I'm director of operations for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Long Beach. I am here to talk about our programs and the opportunity to have your youth come to get a great future and experience some new things. I'm excited to have the kids come back and have them be able to experience new things and um, have the opportunity to socialize and get together. We are gonna be open from June 21st, beginning our summer program to August 20th. The hours are from 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. and it will be $60 per week per child. However, we do have scholarships available and also offer um, sibling discounts. One of the things I'm excited about um, having kids come back, we missed the opportunity to engage them. We actually had never actually closed our doors, which gives us an opportunity to have um, the experience of being able to understand um, our kids need us most. And this is what we're here to serve in this community of Long Beach. We'll be offering um, traditional programs such as your academic enrichment, uh, sports and recreation, arts and crafts, team programming. Um, one of the things we're excited about is to have our kids be able to join us over the summer and reconnect with one another. We have three locations, which I can have you go to our website at www.bgclublb.org um, and visit our website. We do have three main clubhouses um, in the city of Long Beach, and each of them is um, located in various areas of the community. Our north um, location is called the Eastman Clubhouse, which is on Atlantic and Del Amo. 
it actually has a climbing wall that's uh, pretty cool. And that's one of the features that I know we are most proud of and having that opportunity to utilize that for recreation. We have the clubhouse I'm at at this time, Petro Lane, which is at Martin Luther King Park. And we have another clubhouse at called Westside near Cabrillo High School. Um, one of the things that we're focusing in on for the um, national perspective is diversity, equity, and inclusion. It is a focal point along with S social emotional learning that is most important with our kids coming back from this, I, I'm gonna call it a struggling year of having this pandemic hit us when we weren't expecting to be isolated. So having the opportunities to get our kids back into the community, out in the um, areas of having fun, that's what we wanna have as a focal point of where we're going. Um, you can reach us at the number 562-595-5945 and feel free to call us. We do have an online application that will be available and you can um, obtain that on our website. And I really am thankful that we are looking at getting back to normal. One of the things that I know for our kids, they miss the aspect of laughing, running and playing and being able to be out and be amongst one another. Um, with that being said, I know we're coming up against crunch time. I don't wanna take up too much of the other uh, partners here time, but I wanted to thank everyone that has presented. It gives us a great outlook for the future of our community and the aspect of being able to serve this community is tremendous. I wanna thank everyone for the presentation and the opportunity pr to present. Uh, Lance, thank you so much for sharing that. I also want to let our viewers know that we do have a Boys and Girls Club flyer available down below this video that you could click on and um, get some information that Mr. Holiday was just sharing with us. And um, I also just want to add, I started my basketball career at a boys club in, in Missouri, and that carried me over into, um, into California, moved here. So um, I just think it's a great resource for families, low cost, um, and they're there for their kids. I really like that. Thank you so much for sharing and being with us here today. We're gonna transition now to um, Ms. Stephanie Blazer from Campfire Long Beach. Hi, hello Long Beach families. My name is Stephanie Blazer and I am the camp director here out of DeForest Park. Um, I am so excited to start our 2021 summer journey with all of you and your campers. Um, just like everybody was saying, we just want a little bit of normal, you know? So I'm here to do that. I have a big game plan just to make this summer just so memorable. Your campers will have the opportunity to participate in various science projects, lots of hands-on stuff. Um, arts and crafts, we're all about the arts and crafts here. And um, running games, we need to get some running activities into us. And um, I myself, I'm a big dodgeball fan, so <laughs> you'll see me on the dodgeball field with the kids. I'm looking forward to that. Um, uh, we are also working on our social skills this summer, our team building skills. So we have so many team building activities that we're looking forward to implement this summer. And just um, a nature appreciation. We are so fortunate to be here in North Long Beach and we have the wetlands here at this park. And I'm just so excited to incorporate that into this summer's program. And um, my goal is to send your kiddos home nice and tired and leave with the best childhood memories. So if you are interested, um, the flyer is uh, listed right now in front of you. And um, if you have any more information, please reach out to us um, for any added details that you may have. Any questions, please go to our www.campfirelb.org. Um, or you can feel free to call us, call the office at 562-421-2725. So if you have any more information, 
um, or you want any more information, please reach out to us. And um, our camp hours are going to be from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you do need the extended um, extended camp hours, we are here for you. We are here for all of our uh, Long Beach families. And um, I'm just looking forward to a really fun summer. So if you guys are interested, please sign up. Um, we are filling up uh, pretty, pretty quickly now. And um, I just wish you guys all the best. Thank you, Stephanie, for your time. And I just love your, you wanna make great memories for children. That's a beautiful sentiment. So thank you so much for being here with us today. Um, we are we are done with our formal presentation, but we just have with our presenters. But we just have a little bit more we like to share with you um, from Parent University. Um, and again, the presentation can be accessed down below in the one of the last slides. There is a video that we would love for you to take the opportunity to watch. It's very short, but if you were to click on Michelle Obama's name, it would take you to a YouTube video that unfortunately we can't show here due to copyright. But really, her message is try something new, and I want to take you back to the very beginning of our presentation today when uh, Miss Rebecca Fast was sharing um, the the worrisome idea of summer slide and how we want to make sure that our, our kiddos continue to um, maintain and grow academically and mentally. So we just wanted to highlight for you in the video, Michelle Obama saying, you know, try something new, that these are some of the most important months for our young people, that summer can be a time to get ahead, branch out, learn new skills, just have some new experiences. I think uh, Rebecca was saying, you know, we're fortunate to live here. Go on a hike, go play at the water, catch up on lessons you've missed if you're falling behind. Don't let summer go to waste. And again, as we know, um, our former first lady, read, read, read is always her message. So please take an opportunity to read that. I think it um, will bring a lot of um, really, really good message to our family. Okay, so we are at the end of our presentation and for today. So I just wanted to say thank you to our presenters today for taking the time to be with us. We have so many options near us to, for learning something new and staying active both mentally and physically. I also wanna take this opportunity to thank the dedicated staff of Parent University, the Translation Unit and Marketing Media Services that work diligently week in and week out to bring our workshop workshops to our workshop to thousands of families in three languages. For your reference, for your reference over the summer, you can find past workshops on the Parent, Parent University website in English, Spanish, and Khmer. Um, Unfortunately, due to time, we do know we have a few questions and we're gonna make sure that we get your questions to the correct presenter today so we can get answers back to you um, that fulfill your needs. Um, we do look forward to returning to Thursdays this fall to be with you again. But in the meantime, we wish you a safe and healthy summer and so long for now. Take care.